I am making this video to convince people that certain large YouTubers are frauds and do not deserve the attention and glamour and popularity they receive. At this juncture of all junctures, I decided I'm going after 402 Thunder 402. That's the name of the guy's channel. He's a very successful YouTuber with half a million subscribers who apparently posts incredible, astonishing gameplay of 30 count kill streaks in Black Ops 2 team deathmatch while running boring, inane commentary recorded over the gameplay in the background. He repeats this again and again, day after day he repeats this feat, receiving impossible scores in Black Ops 2, such as 30 to 1, or 42 kills, 1 death, or 52 kills, 2 deaths. As you see evidence on my screen, this is how generally the game goes for me every day. Every day I am pissed, I am upset, that I am owned in this game by every single shot kill weapon that they put into this game, over and over. The footage speaks for itself, and it also speaks of what a fraud 402 Thunder 402 is. Many times the guy has hacked the game to make himself unkillable. Enemies will put ten bullets in his head, Enemies will blast him three times point-blank with a shotgun. Each time his health will drop to 1% with blood covering the screen, only to have him turn on a guy just before he dies. He turns on a guy who just put 20 bullets into his back and puts him down with a single burst from his own a PDW submachine gun, or a C4 toss that he irrita irritatingly calls a C4 sandwich. I am sorry, but no player in this world could do this and be called honest and not considered a cheater. As you can see, the game does not work this way in my case. Obviously, the guy has hacked his video game, giving himself a subtle he health increase that no one would easily notice, not the people playing against him, not the people watching his videos on YouTube. Whenever Thunder402 is not hacking the game, he instead waits for a lobby of noobs to shit on with his $200 sound whoring headset and $160 scuff controller while camping and playing against people who are just too poor to afford such a assets as a $200 sound whoring headset and $160 scuff controller. So, Apparently, to be a badass at Call of Duty, as being a badass at anything in life, it requires having money, money, and money. Invest a thousand dollars into playing a shitty video game and all the peripherals that you need, like a headset and a scuff controller, to dominate other players and give yourself unfair advantage over them. And suddenly, suddenly you become a sensational gamer, while the rest of us, such as people like myself, languish in poverty. Again, the old adage is proven here, that money is everything. Thunder also plays with teammates who specifically run support and cover his back. He's got a bunch of his buddies who surround him, and move as a group, carefully controlling the enemy spawns, so he knows exactly where to throw his shitty C4 sandwich. Hey, I have an idea of a better place he can shove his C4 sandwich. 
How about up his own butthole? This is fraudulent be behavior that is, is done by many big YouTubers such as Thunder. And all his fans are social degenerate nerds who actually think he's a badass and actually admire him. This is one of those YouTubers who has monopolized his place in the gaming community through cheating and fraud and buying thousands of fake views to uprank his channel. Again, money is everything, people. While true gamers like myself go unrecognized and without breaking even a hundred subs. And why? Why? Because I show real-life gameplay achieved without the dirty scumbag tactics. Because I show exactly how broken of a game Call of Duty is, how unbalanced and terrible it is, and how horrible the developers are that made it. And because I show and let people hear how much the game upsets me. Anyway, buy my novel, buy my novel, The Dying Mark, linked in the description of this video. It's only two dollars. YouTube will never make money for someone such as myself, despite my gameplay and my vlogs and my content being top-notch. I live in poverty, as many of my videos show. I don't have insanely fast and high bandwidth internet that lets me pull host in every match like it does for Thunder and his internet so Thunder can stay half a second ahead of his enemies because he's host. Anyway, you give Thunder 402 my setup just earbud headphones with the sound turned low and a cell phone for an internet connection and he'll play as shitty as I do, guaranteed. Again, money is everything.